Hello! Today, we will tell you about the most incredible and amazing habits of the inhabitants of the seas and rivers. Why fish fall into hibernation, why they turn off one hemisphere when they fall asleep while the other one is alert, why they return to their initial development state when they see a danger and thus continue to literally live forever. These and other facts are in our list of the 10 strangest habits of sea creatures. Here we go. Seahorses also don't reproduce like other animals. The most amazing thing about these marine creatures is that seahorses are produced by male species. A male seahorse has a big handbag in the lower part of his body with a hole in the middle that resembles a crack. The female clings to him and lays eggs right into this purse. The male fertilizes them. The skin inside the bag where the eggs are laid becomes like a sponge after a while and gets filled with blood vessels, which play a critical role in the nutrition and development of the offspring. In a month or two, new seahorses appear, an accurate but a very small copy of their parents. Such a striking distribution of roles between parents leads to the fact that females compete for the interest of males. Though frogs are not very attractive, they are very sensitive amphibians. For example, they notice the chemical changes in groundwater and thus can feel the approach of an earthquake many days before it happens. Scientists came to this surprising conclusion after a whole colony of frogs disappeared from the pond in the Italian town of Aquila just a few days before the devastating earthquake. Frogs of Aquila are not the only example of the strange behavior of animals before a major seismic event. There were a lot of cases in history when reptiles, amphibians, and fish demonstrated unusual behavior before an earthquake. Researchers now only need to learn to use animals' behavior to predict natural disasters. And these are Turritopsis jellyfish, who have adapted to live forever. The scientists from the Smithsonian Maritime Institute came to this incredible conclusion. Of course, there is no absolute immortality, for it's easy to destroy such a small creature. However, this species, when they appear in unfavorable conditions, return to the initial stage of their development. Their umbrella-shaped bell and tentacles stop growing, and instead the body acquires sprouts, and feeding polyps appear on them. In other words, if Turritopsis feels that its life is in danger, it simply returns to its babyhood and starts growing up again. There is no other such creature on Earth. Now scientists are actively trying to identify a gene that allows the jellyfish to return to the primitive state. If they are lucky, they can experiment with a gene modification of a more complex organism. Do you like the idea of returning to babyhood to avoid a difficult situation? Some of the most amazing marine animals are dolphins. After all, although they live in water, they need air for breathing. So they swim to the surface to breathe. After that, they can spend 10 to 15 minutes underwater. At the same time, their skin is very tender to stay without water for a long time. So they cannot afford to sleep while swimming at the surface. They also cannot sleep underwater without air. So, how do they sleep? For a while, it was considered that dolphins do not need rest, but not so long ago, the mystery was solved. As it is known, both hemispheres of the human's and animal's brain switch off during sleep, but not with these mammals. Their left and right hemispheres take turns sleeping. While one is resting, the other is awake, and it controls the animal's body, making sure that it swims to the surface when it needs to get oxygen. In one and a half hours, the hemispheres change, this half-sleep allows dolphins to receive the needed oxygen and even hunt for small fish and watch out for danger. A unique feature of scorpions is that they glow under the moonlight or UV light. Until now, no one knows exactly why they glow, given that this glow is not safe for the scorpions. The fact is that scorpions hunt at night. Also at night, the creatures that feed on scorpions hunt they are owls and some rodents leading a nightlife. That is why the glow of scorpions in the dark is not the best survival tactic. Part of the answer lies in the eyes of scorpions, which are more sensitive to the green-blue light. 
Perhaps their ability to glow in the darkness evolved to notice each other. There is also a theory that scorpions are like deep sea creatures that lure prey with bioluminescence. Bivalves also respond unusually to adverse conditions. After all, in response to pollution or some foreign object that has fallen into their shell, they form a pearl. Indeed, the formation of pearls is a protective reaction of the clam's organism to irritation when any foreign body enters the mantle or gets between the mantle and the shell. In this case, the outer layer of the mantle, which produces mother of pearl, envelops it in layers, thereby isolating it from the body, and a future glittering pearl starts growing. The expression, like a fish without water, does not apply to the next specimen. We are talking about the double-breathing marine creature, Protopterus, which has both gill and lung respiration. It is estimated that using the gills, the fish receives only 2% of the necessary oxygen. The remaining 98% come from breathing with lungs. Protopteruses have another unique feature, hibernation. They fall into hibernation in the beginning of a dry season or when the rivers and lakes start to dry up. Depending on the conditions, they spend six to nine months in hibernation without water. The record of such a unique state of the Protopterus was recorded in experimental conditions. The fish was in hibernation without water for more than four years, and there were no harmful consequences. These rare fish live only in the fresh waters of tropical Africa. An attractive and completely harmless looking sea star is, in fact, a predator. Their digestive system starts with a wide, round mouth that can stretch out and absorb large prey. Then the whole central part of the disc is occupied by the stomach, which can turn out through the mouth opening and completely envelop the victim. The digestive process of the sea star is an incredible example of evolutionary progress, especially given the primitiveness of these creatures in other aspects. The underground blind cavefish has a unique 47-hour biological day rhythm. All animals and plants, and even some types of bacteria, have a biological clock, which is determined by the daily rhythm of their life. These rhythms determine when to sleep and when to stay awake. But how various kinds of animals blind from birth that spend their whole lives in pitch darkness determine this rhythm? One of them is the eyeless fish Phreatichthys andrusi that lives in underground reservoirs in the Somali desert. It is believed that it went underground 2.6 million years ago. And if it had a 24-hour rhythm, then this has long been forgotten. This fish doesn't have a change of day and night and adjusts its internal clock according to its lunch schedule. So thanks to its digestive system, the fish has a 47-hour day. Gennet is a small cat-like animal that is native to northern Africa. Even though their territories may overlap, gennets are loners and spend most of their time alone. But this is not always the case. In the South African Luluwe Imfolozi Park, the gennet not only made incredible friends with other animals, but also rode on their backs every night. Cameras designed to track the black rhino population recorded something strange. One of the local gennet liked riding on the backs of large herbivores that share her territory. The reason for this behavior was never detected. This gennet does not give preference to any particular rhinoceros. Gennet rides on different rhinos and buffaloes and without trying to use them for moving. There are many birds sitting on large ungulates, but in such cases the bird's purpose is obvious. The bird gets free food and its vehicle gets rid of annoying parasites. Gennet rides on animals for no reason, except that getting pleasure from such a ride. Animals living in a pack need to assume leadership and make certain decisions, even if it's a shoal of small fish. They also decide in which direction they should swim, facing a predator, where to make a stop for feeding, or when and where to migrate. What is the mechanism of their actions? A recent study has shown that often fish follow a fairly simple rule. Before making their own decision, they observe the actions of their more experienced and courageous relatives and imitate them. 
For a long time, it wasn't known how fish chose the direction in which they migrate. Recent observations have shown that they form schools headed by several experienced specimens which know when and where to find food. Ahead of the school, there are often small fish, probably because they are hungrier and need more food than others. Not so long ago, American biologists found that a fish called rock cod has a rather unusual habit. During the mating period, they take turns and change their sex. The thing is, a rock cod is synchronous hermaphrodites. That is, each specimen can simultaneously produce both male and female sex cells. The fish divide the caviar into separate portions, and during the day they take turns to spawn. At the same time, partners change their gender, becoming either male or female for a certain period to fertilize each other's eggs. Thank you for watching and see you soon.